Right, so in today's video, I'm going to be going over the three camera lenses which the DJI Mavic 4 Pro offers. Now in this video, it's going to be different to the previous video with the Mavic 4 Pro, is on that video, we're just concentrating on the optical side of the three camera lenses, the 28mm, the 70mm and the 168mm. Now in this video, it's going to be a little bit different as I'll be concentrating on the digital side of the zooms. Now if you follow my channel, I'm really not a fan of the digital zooms, but I just want to show you what that Mavic 4 three camera lenses are capable of. Right, so the first camera lens we're going to be focusing on is the Hasselblad 28mm micro four third sensor and that's going to range from times one right to 2.5x. Now the times one is going to be optical at 28mm but then we're going to be pushing it through to the 2.5x and that's all going to be digital. Now closer we get to that 2.5x the picture is going to fall to pieces and it's not really going to be that usable as you'll see. And the second camera lens that you're going to see is from that mid telephoto lens. Now that starts off at 70 millimeter, which is true optical. So that's gonna start from 2.5X and that's gonna work right up to times six. Again, the closer you get to times six, which is digital, it's not gonna be that usable as you'll see. And then the third and final camera lens is the tele lens. Now that starts at 168 millimeters. Again, we're gonna be at times six and that jumps right to times 24. Again, the closer you get, especially in the 20 region there, it's gonna become really unusable, again, as you'll see. So now that I've given you a brief description on what I'm gonna do throughout the three camera lenses, just keep your eye focused on center frame on each image, because that's the subject that I'll be zooming in and out of going through all the three camera lenses. So now I'm gonna find a suitable place to get the Mavic 4 Pro up and start zooming in on things so you can really see the clarity of those cameras there. Here we go. So this first camera is the 28mm Hasselblad camera with the micro four third sensor. And this is what you're seeing right now is in optical. But then I'm going to start slowly zooming in to 2.5x. And that's going to be digital. And then when I hit the 2.5x as you'll see rather soon, it becomes rather grainy and unusable to be fair. So that's at 2.5x and now I'm going to retract back to where the drone is at 28 millimeters. Now this is the second camera, the mid tele lens, and this is it starts at 70 millimeters, which is optical, what you're seeing right now. And then I'm going to start digitally zooming and we can push there to times six. And as you'll see, when I get closer to the times six mark, Again, the footage is going to start falling to pieces. So I'd highly recommend not zooming all the way in digital on every camera lens there because it does become unusable. And then I'm going to slowly retract back to the 70 millimeters. And now we're on the tele lens starting at 168 millimeters. And this is true optical until I start slowly digitally zooming. Now we're at times six, and now we're gonna be able to get to times 24. And as you'll see from the footage, when we get really close in, again, it becomes unusable, but I'm keeping all the footage in here for you. So you can just see what these camera lenses can do. As you can see at the 24 times digital zoom there with that tele lens, it is the worst out of the three because it's zooming digitally really close into the subject. And now that you've seen all three separate cameras individually, I'm gonna use now the explore mode, which combines them all together as one fluid motion. I say fluid motion, but you're gonna see a jump as it jumps between each camera. But when you do it individually, you don't have this option to toggle all the way through from times one right to times 24. So this is called Explore Mode on the Mavic 4 Pro. And then I'll zoom all the way back to 28 millimeters. So 
So now you'll see Bowles over Castle centre frame, and again I'm at the 28mm Hasselblad Micro Four Third camera. Again we can only zoom to 2.5 digital, as you'll see right now. And then I'll pull back to the 28mm. And now we're on the mid tele lens at 70mm. Again, I'm going to be zooming in. So we're starting off at 2.5, and then we can work our way up to time 6. Again, it's going to be digital. And then when it gets close to the time 6, it's going to become a lot more grainy, as you'll see. And then I'm going to slowly retract back to the 70 millimeters. And now we're on the tele lens, starts at 168 millimeters, which is optical. But that's going to be from times six right through to times 24. And again, just pay close attention to when I get near the 24, as the footage was going to start to get rather grainy. And once again, I'm going to combine all those three lenses together with the explore mode. So we're going to be starting off at times one right through to times 24 and then all the way back again. And once again, you're going to see that jump between the three camera lenses when it maxes out at the digital range on each camera. And now I'm just going to jump straight to the explore mode, otherwise this video is going to be probably four weeks long. <laughs> so I'm just going to go straight to the explore mode like I said. So that's combining all the three lenses, including the optical and digital together.
What's your thoughts there? <laughs> My thoughts are never use digital zoom on any type of drone because it becomes really unusable, especially when you get to the next camera, just before the next camera. That is really unusable. Just for an example, we're starting out at times one, but when we get to 2.5, that's not usable. And then when we get to 2.5 to times six, at the time six becomes unusable. You can see where we're going here, can't you? And then that last lens at times six to times 24, when we get to like times 18 upwards, it's just not usable. But I've kept all that footage in for you today so you can really see the finer detail between each camera lens. And you'll also notice a slight wobble when it shifts between each camera lens. For example, at the 28 millimeter, just as it gets to that 2.5X then switches over to that mid tele lens, you'll see slight shift. And then it's gonna repeat that pattern when you get to that 168 times tele lens. The reason it's doing that is because the lenses are lacking a triangle. So as it jumps from one to the other, it's impossible to keep it a fluid steady motion like it would be on a normal zoom, for instance because that's just one zoom, but this is jumping to three different camera lenses. So that's why you get that wobble that you've seen there. So as always, do stay tuned to the channel as there's gonna be plenty more videos on the horizon. But for now, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and bye for now.